Hello from Eleuthera. I am here in the Bahamas on the beautiful island of Eleuthera, which is known for its gen clear waters, its pink sand beaches, and of course, the kind locals. When I was booking this vacation, the goal was definitely to find a place I could rest. And when I discovered Eleuthera, I immediately knew this is where I wanted to come and stay. I love that this island is less populated than the neighboring island of Nassau, which is a very popular tourist destination. When we arrived at the North Eleuthera Airport, I was taken aback by its small size. We then proceeded to Rainbow Beach. Afterwards, we had lunch at the Rainbow Inn. And then we had made reservations at The Cove, which is a very unique boutique hotel. You do have to make reservations if you want to go there for just dinner. When you're at The Cove, you'll see they have two, not one, but two private beaches, a infinity pool, and the whole property is lined with palm trees. The following day, we went to Harbor Island. Now we made a day trip out of going to Harbor Island because you do need to take a water taxi from Eleuthera to get to Harbor Island. It's about a short five minute taxi. Once you get off the boat on Harbor Island, you will see that the dock is lined with golf carts and you can actually rent these golf carts for $50 a day. Harbor Island is a very exclusive destination that draws a sophisticated crowd and is often dubbed as the Nantucket of the Caribbean. The heart of the island is Dunmore Town, which showcases an array of delightfully pastel-colored homes. Honey looks so mean, yeah, she got it going on. After grabbing some coffee, we headed over to the Pink Sands Beach and we quickly discovered that there was an entryway to the beach situated just between the Dunmore and the Ocean View Club, which fe features a really nice staircase leading down to the shore. At the bottom of the stairs, there's a really nice bar called Mrs. V's that serves drinks and snacks allowing you to indulge without ever having to leave the beach. How awesome is that? While strolling along the beach, we came across numerous luxurious resorts, including the Dunmore. Originally established as a private club in 1963, it became available to the general public in 1980s. The Dunmore offers exceptional service and a vintage Bahamian elegance. We enjoyed a delightful lunch at the Dunmore Clubhouse, an upscale yet laid-back dining establishment. I highly recommend taking a day trip to Harbor Island. We 
We are heading out the door to see the glass window bridge as well as the queen baths. I can't wait to show you guys that. Make sure you watch to the end of this video to see the Airbnb tour that we are gonna give you guys because this place is totally amazing and you have to check it out. We took a small detour to the Queen's Baths, located on the Atlantic side of the island. We saw the deep blue and crashing waves of the Atlantic down below, and there's a little crevice where there are some tide pools that have formed as a result of the crashing waves. During low tide and when the sun is shining, they transform into inviting bathtub-like spots where visitors can bask in the warm water However, it's important to note that this can only be done during low tide. Not even a half a mile away is the glass window bridge, which is a narrow strip of rock spanning a mere 30 feet that separates the Atlantic Ocean from the Caribbean Sea. The stark contrast between these two bodies of water is truly breathtaking. On one side, you'll encounter the turbulent, dark blue waters of the ocean, and then on the other side, you'll witness the calm, light turquoise hues of the sea. Hey guys, so I'm about to give you a tour of our Airbnb here in Eleuthera, Bahamas. It's pretty amazing. I can't wait for you to check it out. And so go ahead and follow me. So when you first walk in, our kitchen is gonna be right here. What I love about this kitchen is that we've got this massive window looking out into the jungle. We have had all of the windows open in this Airbnb ever since we arrived. There's a really nice draft that comes through. Josh has been enjoying the French press that they provide, all of the dishware that you can need. We have our stove top and then a refrigerator. So now we're gonna go into the main room. So go ahead, come this way. We have our little dining here area here to the right. This art featured here on the wall is all the turquoise water in the Caribbean. And I feel like this could have been taken just outside. Something really cool we've got right here is a place we can store our luggage. We've got some live plants in here. Everything just feels like nature is just brought in. Now I wanna show you one of the most amazing features of this Airbnb, which are these massive sliding doors. We not only have a screen door here on both sides that you can close to keep the bugs out, but you also have these glass doors if you kind of want it more quiet at night. So it's totally quiet now, blocks out the sound of the ocean. So if you come over here on the bed and you sit down, you basically have a 180 view. So as you can see, we have a really sunny day today. The waters are very calm. It's gonna be a good day for snorkeling. And we have a day bed to the right, just behind you. So again, a great place to lay out in the sun and relax. Now I'm gonna show you guys our bathroom. There are so many natural touches to this Airbnb. Like we have this plant up here. We have this. And I'm not gonna lie, this is what sold me on booking this Airbnb was this jungle shower. You literally feel like you're in the jungle and if you look out, you can see the Caribbean. actually going to take you guys down to the water. We have a short little trail that leads us to our own private patio. I know 
don't think I've ever stayed at a more peaceful Airbnb than this. Just hearing the ocean, the waves crash at night, the leaves, the wind. Uh, we even saw some sea turtles this morning as well as uh, some little baby starfish. So this is our private patio. We've got a beach umbrella and some chairs with some cushions there. If you bring your water shoes, that's definitely really helpful because in Eleuthera, there's a lot of jagged rocks just along the water. From deserted beaches and striking cliffs to vibrant towns and awe-inspiring scenery, Eleuthera offers an authentic Bahamian experience that is not to be missed. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.